joining me, here are the next three pairs of your reading. So what have we got going on in the sixth house? The sixth house is linked to work and daily matters and it's the house of Virgo. So your physical matters and daily routine now are very much as in you're very serious about what you're doing. You know, it's showing here that there's a great love of how you're going about things at the moment. And I feel that you're manifesting things in a very entertaining way. Um, the magician shows that you've got all the elements. Your physical, intellectual, emotional and spiritual self is all balanced. And it's something that's very important to you. So when you go about your daily routine work or um, things that go on in your normal world every day, I get a sense of feeling here that you are doing so in a very stylish, elegant and way that suits you. It doesn't matter if it's not neat and tidy, it's the way that you are doing things that's important to you, yourself. And if you're happy, then everything else falls into place. I also feel that any connections with work, you're being taken seriously at the moment. It's an excellent time for progress. Okay, your personality is actually winning the day as it were and you've proceeded in the cards from what's been an aspect of you here which is the page of cups into an elevation in the cards where we've jumped as in straight into a king. This is a little bit of naivety, a little bit of frivolous fun, a little bit of you know uh, light-heartedness but I feel that as you've gone into work you've been a sense of understanding and a sense of uh, a value and appreciation uh, with what you're doing. And when we go into the seventh house here, which is about relationships, and that's not just of a romantic kind, it's your love life, but um, it's partnerships, it's relationships with the family, everyone around you. It's kind of showing that you've made a few sacrifices, okay? Nine of Wands, you know, you need to protect that. Stop sacrificing yourself, you know, maybe you do what the hangman's doing, do nothing, see what comes back. When other people give what you've been giving and do it in a stylish way going on here, then, you know, maybe then you can actually turn around and get going again. But I feel that you need to balance things out here, okay? You know, it, it feels a bit like a one-way street cancer. You're, you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking, in fact not someone else, quite a lot of people. You know, I feel there's a whole army of people here that are wanting to kind of be on the take. Oh, you know, you're good at doing that, I'll let you do it. You say, oh gosh, no, sorry, you know, got this to do, um, this is really important, I'm going to leave you to it. And that's what your cards are actually telling you, to actually let other people take on load, um, delegate, or just turn around and restrict it. You say, okay, it will have to be left then. You know, no matter, we'll leave that. Um, people will soon turn around and go, oh, gosh, what's happening? I better do something and make it happen. Yes, that's exactly the point. While ever you are actually doing it for them, other people are disabled. You're enabling that. You know, what you've got to do is take it away and, you know, just, just see things from a different perspective, you know? They've got to learn their lesson. Don't feel that you've got to mollycoddle people, okay? So when it comes to relationships, don't be the one that's doing all the work. If it's a romantic relationship, all the more. Let them do the actual kind of, you know, giving back. It's important, okay? So moving into the eighth house, which is Scorpio here, what have we got? New start, okay? You're changing, okay? In your uniqueness, you are in a privileged position. Seven of Wands, victory. If you look here, you can kind of see that anything new that you're actually embarking upon, you're on top of it. As these things come at you, jabbing away at you, you know, kind of do this, do this, do this, you're in a great position because you're on top, okay? It's like being on top of a mountain and watching, you know, an army come towards you. You're actually able to see everything from the viewpoint that you're in. So you've got this aerial view like a, a, a view of a bird flying in the sky, being able to look down and see things very clearly. So you can see it coming, you know, your perception, call it your intuition if you like, you know, but these endings that have kind of come into your life have brought about something brand new, and that's exactly what this is. 
things that are new, you're actually making progress with. You're actually in a place where I would say, don't reveal all of your strategies to everybody. You know, play a few cards close to your chest. You don't need to reveal how you do it. Let them figure it out themselves. Okay, Cancer, till next time, thanks for joining me. Please come back while I will reveal your next cards. Bye-bye.